I am Sir Warren Flowers, and bastard knight of House Hightower. From the holdings of Black Crown, I live in the shadow of the Great Tower of House Hightower, lords of Old Town and all of its lands. But this shall not stand for long. As soon as my marriage alliance is completed, and my child is born into this world, so too shall be born my righteous retribution. Bastard or no, the lands of Old Town and the High Tower itself shall belong to me. I may not be of Targaryen blood, but their words ring true. I shall be the Lord of Old Town through fire and blood. And greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to the lands of Westeros. So, unfortunately, we could not introduce all three of our bastard houses into uh, the one save file like I had originally intended. It is quite unfortunate, and I, I'm actually <laughs> a little upset about it. But, alas, it does not mean that there will be only one bastard rebellion for us to witness for this, uh, for this series. So, this is just going to be like part one of a three-part series. Not like part one of House Bull Tower, but like... You know, the whole Bull Tower arc, however many episodes it takes, that's all part one, you know? And then uh, we'll move on to the north and we'll do the Toll Pass and everything like that. It should be quite interesting, lads. But anyway, here we are within the uh, the lands of Black Crown as the uh, the bastard son of uh, of Lord Lyman of Old Town. And then Leighton Hightower is actually our player heir for the time being. He is also a knight, that's interesting. Very cool. But anyway, lads, our adventure begins. Uh, let us... I don't want to negotiate an alliance because then it's not going to allow me to declare war. Uh, it does say we are first in line for the lordship, but that, that's not realistic because we are a bastard. Uh, we can invite some knights, send the heralds, and we can create an accolade or two. Very cool. And now we have our first uh, acclaimed knight, the Beast of Bulwer. Uh, because they, they do give us a big uh, boost to, like, our, uh, you know, our tyranny and our dread gain. Or, like, dread and then martial gain per tyranny and everything like that. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Army toughness. I'll gladly take that one. Uh, I can't switch scoundrel. We'll call this guy the Knight of the Bull. Very cool. Create accolade. Nice. So now we have two acclaimed knights. We have the Knight of the Bull and the Beast of Bulwer. Very cool indeed, lads. I can hire a maester, but I don't I don't have one quite uh, quite right now. So, quite interesting. We do have uh, some Guards of the Reach and some Swords of the Reach, which is pretty cool. But we have no Armored Horsemen. Yeah, let's get some Crossbowmen in here, I think, as well. I don't have anywhere to put them. That's fine. All right, not bad. So at least we have a pretty decent army size here. Look at these knights. Like, look at how they look. I, I love the, uh, you know, just the little the little thumbnail pictures for these guys. They look really, really good. But anyway, lads, I believe that is it as far as uh, decisions go and everything like that. I'm not going to lie. I did set up this build uh, last week. So I, I'm not entirely sure who I set my alliance you know, or my marriage alliance too. So I guess we'll fucking see, lads. <laughs> Very nice. Ah. Interesting. Raylene of House Rowan. Very nice. To the perceptive Warren, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister, Raylene, in holy matrimony. May the maiden bless your union. Signed, Lord Gordon of Golden Grove. Excellent. Thank you, my lord. Now that my spouse is here, lovely. She's got good diplomacy and learning. That's not bad. Uh, we will gladly use that to our advantage. I might just end up using her for chivalry focuses. Her marshal is only seven, but that's not. It's still not terrible. I also just realized I forgot to set up my council, so we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna do that. Oh goddamn! So I got the the uh, the new Maester of Black Crown. His name is, uh, Martin Reichard. That's interesting. But damn, look at these stats, dude. 20 diplomacy, 10 marshal, 10 stewardship, 
10 intrigue and 36 learning that's that's actually really cool welcome my friend welcome very nice and now a lot of my um marriage proposals are being accepted for my courtiers which is excellent because that means i'm gonna have a pretty stacked council which is perfect excellent 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 perfect i believe that was it so let's get somebody who is the sum of all skills uh, my maester can become my castellan as well. Thank you, my friend. All right. So we begin uh, fabricating claims on Greylock Hills. That way we will border Old Town itself. We will be right outside her walls. But one by one, county by county, we will retake these lands in the name of the uh, the future House Bulwer, or Bull Tower. <laughs> Now, I don't know why, but my council, like, I have these really good courtiers. Like, look at her. She's got 21 stewardship, right? But for some fucking reason, it won't let me appoint her as my steward. It's saying, like, the highest skill here is 12. That's awful. All right. I'm going to set my spy master to the task of finding secrets within the, uh, the high tower itself. This should be quite interesting. Now I do have this uh this alliance with with House Rowan. Yeah, ten thousand. That's awesome. I wonder what it would look like. Ah, damn. Like I'm I'm barely, uh, you know, just barely shy. Now she may be my wife, so I believe it is time to uh, yeah, to seduce my wife. Seventy five percent to start this scheme. Very nice. Let us continue on, lads. Oh, I am the captain of Lord Lyman of Old Town. The captain of his household guard. That's that's pretty epic. What does this mean for me? Does this give me any kind of like boost or whatnot? I am the captain of his guard. I'm not his counselor, but I'm just the captain of his guard. So I wonder, my courtiers, what if I look at... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Court positions. Yeah, that gives me plus five prowess and plus two prestige per month for being captain of the household guard. That's epic. I have 31 prowess and 26 martial skill. That That is pretty epic. Very nice, lads. Things are going by pretty, uh, pretty smoothly so far, but we've also just begun. Meanwhile, let us take a look as to what is going on over here with the Blackfires. What are they up to? Damn. He, uh, Prince Maynar of the Blackfire host. He was burnt alive. That's crazy. By Melis the Monstrous. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, things are, are happening over here in the east, but that is not of my concern. My, my sights and my ambitions lie here within the, uh, the realm of Old Town of the South. The southwest, I suppose. Maybe we'll even come over here and take, you know, uh, this this little area right here. Yeah, the arbor. The arbor. Forgot that's what they're called. Lovely. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Lady Rylene, is bearing my child. Perfect. Household savings. Very nice. Uh, despite our best efforts, I don't believe we will ever find anything either. Uh, no. Continue to search. I will tell you. The Traveling Bard. Interesting. Uh, take your music elsewhere, Vagrant. Do I look like I need to spend money on, uh, <laughs> on music in my holes? I think not. Uh-oh. Something unusual. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress Lady Rileen, I should send her something truly special. Ooh. Interesting. Lady Rileen of Black Crown. So she is content, trusting, and honest. She's got really high learning. I think a, a rare book. A seashell, a reminder of our first meeting. Yeah, let's give her a book. 
Because she does have high uh, learning. Oh, damn. That <laughs> What did I do wrong? Oh, no. I received the rare book you sent me. I am unsure as to the reason why you sent me a gift like this. It's because you like learning. You've got high learning skills, you rat. Ah, whatever. My realm never ceases to amaze me. While exploring my demence, sorry, I stumble upon a gorgeous tract of fertile land. Surely this will make for a greatest of farms. I gain the trait gardener. Interesting. Um, no, I think protected lands is going to give me pop popular opinion, but uh, decrease my development growth. So I think I should just sell it and get some gold, some short-term gold. Yeah, fuck it. Because once we go to war, it's going to be, uh, you know, quite costly <laughs> indeed. Uh, a grand wedding, interesting, of Lord Jeremy of Rodalia. Uh, congratulations, my lord, but no. <laughs> no thanks, I don't want to go to that. Ah, uh, spouse's piety impressed the Lord Paramount. The High Septon gained ten opinion of me because of my wife's piety. Alright. So my spy master did not find any secrets. So we're going to set her to a different task. It keeps like double clicking on me. Like, leave me alone. Yeah, find, find more secrets. Try it again. I believe in you. Here we go. Oh, lovely. I lost the trait bastard. And I gained the trait bastard founder. My new son is my player heir. Eh, lovely. We're going to name him Dennis. Strong fire. That's pretty cool. I like the name strong fire, but that that's not what our our dynasty name is gonna be So worry not lads now it is time to build our legacy Very nice lads and there it is. Yeah, the lordship of black crown and Yeah, our house sigil house bull tower death before submission lads very freaking nice and now we are Lord Warren flowers of House Bull Tower, and my son is Dennis Bull Tower. Very cool. I love it, lads. Very nicely done, indeed. Yeah, very nicely done. I have a wet nurse, which is perfect. Now, my son, we are going to train him to be a warrior, just like his father. Yeah, and he's gonna be, he's just gonna be a little badass. Absolutely. Lord Dennis. Nice, and we are nearly there. 90 out of 100% for the uh, the claim, the fabricated claim on the uh, the Greylock Hills. Hopefully, if we don't go to war against our neighbors, it's not going to go to war against all of Old Town or even all of the Reach. Fingers crossed, though, lads. Fingers crossed. And anyway, all I need to do is make sure we get strong enough to where we can actually revolt and start a uh, an independence faction, an independence war. Yeah, to the implacable Warren, I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Greylock Hills. All that is missing is one little bribe. Signed, Humphrey. Thank you, Humphrey, my septon. It's going to cost 75. See it done. Very nice. And now... I can go to war because he's away. Oh, he, he's going off to that. Look at him. He's all the way over here. He's at the grand wedding. Is he on his way back already? Lord Perrin. Oh, it's over with already, lads. That's crazy. My claims, the Lordship of Greylock Hills. Oh, this is beautiful. Emma. I was like, who the hell is Emma? Declared war on their child. Oh, it's just his mother. That's interesting. I was like, why do I care? Anyway, declare war. Yeah, war on Lord Perrin. I don't think we'll need to call on our allies, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And now it is time to summon my military lads. Let us move our uh, summoning point over here at Bronwell. Bra Brownwell. Brownmel. Sorry, I can't read apparently. Very nice. And let us march off to war, lads. Our great conquest begins. Excellent. It starts here, lads. Take the bastards down. 
Oh, look, it's me. I'm the commander here. Hell yeah, dude. Very nice. And now we're going to lay siege to the lands. It's going to take us 18 months to do this. That kind of sucks. But it's all right. I believe if we just wait around for our allies. Where are our allies coming from? Ah, up here. Yeah, House Rowan. Yeah, they're coming with 10,000 men to our aid. That's lovely. Look at them. They're fleeing. They fled to the other side of, uh, of Old Town. They might try and, you know, hop a ship and come over here to Black Crown. Oh, no. Never mind. They're, they're smart. They know better. Yeah, I, I've only got 1.9. I still believe there's something going on in the shadows. Good. If there is anything, find it. Do not fail me, my Willow. Yeah, that's her name. She is my Willow now because she works for me, lads. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Yeah, they, they try to fight us again, lads. Oh, my counselor Desmond died. Was slain by Quentin in a duel? Damn it, Desmond. You were one of my highest, like, my highest skilled knights. Oh, no, he's not. Who the fuck were you then? What the fuck? Why were you a counselor <laughs> again? If you were bad at your job? God damn, I don't have I don't have shit for counselors right now. That's actually pretty bad. Anyway, the enemy army is being beaten down once more. Very nice. Yeah, start to besiege the lands with me, my allies. Thank you very much. Yeah, what I need is some siege equipment. I don't have any siege equipment. That's what's gonna take us forever. I wonder what will happen if we decide to just add one more, you know? It is going to cost us some money. Uh, the onagers plus two per day, the mangonels plus three per day, and the battering rams plus three per day as well. Effective to fort level five. Ooh, the mangonels seems like our, our best bet. They are the most expensive as well, but let's try it. Yeah. There's only five of them for now. We'll wait around until they get up to 10, and then we'll summon them and uh, get them to, to join our army. Here they come again, lads, for another bout. Yeah, the first army of Greylock Hills. Come along. Come and face your death at my hands. Oh, look, here comes our allies. Yes. Oh, man. Beautiful, and now their entire army is wiped out. Nice, and see, now our allies have actually joined us, so it's uh, it's actually going much better anyway. Lovely. Uh, yeah, siege weapon effectiveness plus 40%. We're going to unlock that. That's going to help us take some more lands. I love it, lads. Already getting some shit done. No, keep searching. Do not fail me, my willow. Very nice. Three, two, one. Very nice. The siege has been won, lads. We are one step closer. Nice. Now our mangonels are on the way with 11 more men and one... Uh, one commander. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm gonna merge the armies. Beautiful. Now, look at that. Only eight months left. Lovely. Uh, very nicely done, lads. Things are coming along quite nicely. Slowly but surely, lads. Slowly but surely. My beloved wife, the servants have been have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As Lady Rylene enters our chamber, she smiles unwarily and joins me without any hesitation. 
With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before the Seven, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Very nice. She becomes my lover, and I lay with her. As we were united in marriage, we are now united in heart. Lovely. And now my wife is my lover. That, you know, as it should be. But, you know, just, I kind of had to make sure. You gained attentive care for five years. She's looking after me. Aw, how sweet. Despite her poor martial skill. That's interesting. See, she's, she's learning from her dear husband. Dude, this is so good. This is already turning out so well in our favor, I think. Oh, beautiful. As if by divine prominence. Now enforce my demands to the abhorrent warren, you, you child of a mangy dog. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Perwin... Per, hello? hello? Perwin Potter. How does it feel to be a freaking loser, Potter? Yeah, that's what I thought, you rat bastard. Now I am, unfortunately, above my domain limit. However, there's also low, uh, you know, things here. Very nice, lads. And thus... The lands of Black Crown have grown exponentially. Unfortunately, uh, I've run into a bit of a hiccup. If I try and give these lands away to somebody, uh, they end up being my equal and they go back to being an independent county. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on. Uh, and it, it might hurt our economy in the long run. Uh, but uh, I believe, at least... And it might be well worth it, if I'm being honest. So, we start again. We start to uh, fabricate claims on the county of Ashbourne. Uh, and slowly start to take away Rodalia. There we go. So I, I re... You know, I set my wife... Oh, lovely. Lady Raylene is pregnant once more. And the legacy of the Conqueror, Aegon, Aegon the First. Uh, yeah, I mean, that we know what this is, so I'm not going to read through all of that again. Aha. King Melis has uh, risen up against King Aegon V. I see no reason to get involved. It's not my problem. And good luck to you guys. Oh, my dear son, you have been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I am hereby offering you the position of Marshal of Old Town. I accept. Ah, uh, that is amazing. I am the Master at Arms. Gives me plus two prowess. Minus 10% army gold maintenance. Plus 10% levy size. Ah, uh, that is amazing. Resign from council. No, I don't want to do that. It gives me 33 pow prowess, 23 martial. That is, that is beautiful. I love that. My wife is currently pregnant again. Ah, that is amazing. That is amazing. I can ask my head of faith for gold. Spends 250. I don't want to do that, though. I don't, I don't need gold at the moment, so. A well-organized court because of my wife. Lovely. Thank you, my love. Congratulations. Walnut Bank. Love that. Oh, everything is going quite, quite smoothly. Ah. Lord Lyman can no longer employ you? Why? That sucks. So much for that. Undisciplined recruits. Today I am observing Master Abelar as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. I can chastise him for his uh, failure. But that's gonna that's gonna cost me more than anything. I don't wanna cheer him up. Let me teach him what I know. And hopefully he learns a little bit something. Advice rejected. Abelar, I will literally fire you. Revoke title. <laughs> yeah, suck my dick, bro. How would you feel about that then, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm disappointed in you, you rap bastard. Yeah, I'm gonna revoke his title. 
Fuck you for that. Gained a rival. Good. Fuck you. Now let me grant these lands to somebody who fucking deserves it. Garth Bulwer. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to my court, officially, dude. Lady Victoria is no longer my witness. Why is that? Why? Alright. I also have an antiquarian, so I'm going to commission for myself an artifact. We're gonna find a weapon. Do it! Ooh. There we go. I want a blunt- I want a weapon that can make full use of my strength. Make it happen, Leobald. Do not fail me. I either want a, a massive hammer, a massive mace, or a massive axe. I feel like that would be very intimidating. Because imagine this, just this big mountain of a man with this, ah, oh, dude, and I, ah, oh, damn it. I forgot, I forgot, look at how badass he looks. Ah, oh, that is amazing, with our sigil and everything. Ah, oh, man, what a mad lad. He looks so good. I love it. Ooh, the reins. Yeah, house rain is on the move. I almost forgot to check, like, how, how things are going over here. It seems like these, the uh, Lannisters have uh, remained neutral throughout the war effort, but the uh, the reigns of Castamere. Damn, Lord Roger looks like a badass over here. Uh, but yeah, the reigns of Castamere have sided with the Iron Throne. What is happening so far? Oh, damn. Yeah, the, the Blackfire host has taken a, a decent bit of, of land. Certainly not bad. Lord Edwile Stark, Lord Paramount Ormond Baratheon. Yeah, join the rebels, join the loyalists. No, I will remain neutral because my efforts are here. Ah, oh, no. Damn. My daughter is in the seven heavens. It's so sad. Nice. I started keeping bees as well. Hopefully I can make a little bit of money off of them. Just a tad bit, you know? A large bear. We must drive it off or kill it, lads. Aw, oh, no. One of my men fires an arrow at the bear, finding its mark in the beast's eye. It roars in pain, rearing to flee the garden, but it just makes it outside before collapsing lifeless. Luck does not smile upon me a second time as the damage has already been done. The hive and honey are beyond salvage. Damn. That sucks. My bees, no! <gasps> oh, shit. To the perceptive Warren, I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I have finally enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Ashbourne. Indeed, I can even argue you are the rightful lord of the high lordship of Old Town. Oh, yes. Do it. I may be in debt, but fuck it, lads. Because we are going to... Oh, the High Lordship of the Crossing? You know what? Sure. Why not, dude? Why not? Damn, now we have an unpressed claim on the High Lordship of Old Town. The whole of Lord Town. That is perfect, lads. Ugh, that is amazing. I don't want to negotiate an alliance with him. And we're, we're going to need gold. Can I not ask my head of faith for gold? I could request a loan, but I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Inspiration realized the Honeywina Mace. Lovely. Absolutely epic. And now... Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Let us, uh, let us rename this bad boy, though. There we go. We named it the Black Bull. That's going to be pretty cool. Gives me plus four to prowess. It doesn't do too much else, but it's, you know, it's mine. At least there's that. All right. So basically, we're just waiting around for our economy to heal itself. My wife is pregnant once more. Uh, he was. There was never a quiet moment. Oh, no. Oh, he's asking questions, basically. You see, when a father and a mother love each other very much... He's going to be curious. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Are we being raided? <gasps> oh, damn. Where are we being raided at? From where? Hello? It says we're being raided, but I see not where. 
Yeah, interesting. Vengeful memories. As I walk through the courtyard, rage overcomes me once again. The only thing on my ro mind recently is when Abelar and I became rivals. I must get my revenge on Abelar somehow. I look up at the gallows in front of me. Perhaps if I make my moves carefully, he will hang there soon. Start a murder scheme? I don't want to start a murder scheme against the guy. I, I mean, I, if he's my rival, why don't I just challenge him to a duel? Right? Can I do that? Yeah, challenge rival to a fight. Might accept 40%. Ah, oh, and I, I'm missing prestige anyway. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Oh, well. Okay, so we're no longer being raided, which is cool. Friendly exchanges. Melora Hightower gained 20 p opinion of you. Thanks to my wife. Thank you. Uh, 53%. I kind of want to abandon the scheme, dude. Like, I don't... Yeah, I don't give a shit about murder. That sucks. Yeah, I don't care about hunting, so... Yay, I have a daughter, Ormana. Yeah, Ormana Bull Tower. I love that. Dennis's first steps. I hear the commotion from my son Dennis's chambers. Hastening inside, I see the wet nurse Joy playing with Dennis. My liege, perfect timing. Dennis just took his first step, she shouts excitedly. Very nice. I wonder what else he can do. Increased prowess, but he gains stress. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing him to like be the warrior that I want him to be. He will be the proper warrior to inherit my titles. Damn, dude, why is your marshal so terrible? I need you to step it up, little kiddo. Like I'm glad you're a good steward and a good diplomat and all that, but hold on. You know what's gonna happen? I need to educate my son. There we go. I will educate my boy. Yeah, he's gonna hang out with dear old dad. You, my love, can uh, can hang out with my daughter, and we can make her a decent steward. Yeah, educate child, a switch guardian to Lady Rylena Black Crown. Perfect. Thank you, my love. Nice, and soon we won't be in debt anymore either, which is good. Nice. We have one gold. We are no longer in debt. <sighs> yeah, declare war for my claims. He's he's stronger than me by 2000. So, but now we have the opportunity, the high lordship of Old Town. Yeah. We're going to be bankrupt on on both accounts. So we're going to give it some time real quick. And I'm thinking perhaps we can negotiate an alliance uh, through marriage. House Roxton. They have an additional 4,000. Are they part of Old Town? They are not part of Old Town. Interesting. They are Old Hills. Aha. House Roxton, indeed. What about the West March? House Tarly. Do you want to uh, arrange a marriage with my dear son? Oh, he doesn't have anybody. What about my dear daughter? He... Aha! Who's your, uh... Who's your primary heir? Randall Tarly. The Randall Tarly? That's interesting. Matrilineal? Oh, they're gonna accept a matrilineal marriage. That's crazy. Interesting indeed. Yeah, send the proposal. The Tarleys. And then, uh... Yeah, I think we'll do I think we'll do the same thing with my son. Find him a spouse with uh House Roxton. Ooh, House Valarian. Interesting. 3000. Dennis Bull Tower. Yeah, she's 20 years old. That's crazy. All right, hold on. What if we find somebody else of House Roxton? Who's got like children? Nobody's got children. Nobody. This is it. This is all that you can conjure, Sauron. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, Alyssa Valarian, but she's so far away. I'm thinking this one might be best here. Let's try it out. Let's see if it works in our favor, lads. Very nice. 
this is, uh, yeah, Old Hills, House Roxton, perfect. Lines about legacy. Uh, a lament for the Lord. Men need not fear as lives depart, crossing to quiet death with noble hearts, and hope only for memory's grace so that the whole world remembers their face. Lyman, I can see that this is truly heartfelt. The poem is lauded. Oh, that was Lyman. That's the man I'm about to steal lands from. <laughs> That's interesting. Excellent. We now have uh, marriage alliances. Did he say no? Oh, they're betrothed. That's why. Do we not have an alliance with them? That sucks. Yeah, 17,000. 14,000. This might be it, lads. Yeah, Golden Grove and Old Hills. This might be our moment. Yeah, fuck it, lads. The time has come. My claims on the High Lordship of Old Town. Fame penalty 90. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, hold on. We're gonna give it we're gonna give it some time. Let's give it some time. Damn it. They keep trying to spend my prestige. Like, leave me alone. I'm trying to go to war, damn it. Ooh, the Falcon Knight. While studying the histories of Westeros, I come across a tome that told the final battle between the first man and the first men of the Vale and their Andal invaders. The Andals were led by artist the Falcon Knight Aaron, and through the use of a goat path and a clever decoy, artists won the battle. The first men houses submitted to artists and was crowned King of the Mountain and Vale. Yeah, decoy. Let's go, we get flexible leader. Hell yeah, that's gonna help us out. Oh, my spy master, she uncovered a secret. Good, good. Harris Oatwright has a secret lover, and Mega has a lover. I'm pretty sure they're both, you know, those those people. That's interesting. No, my alliance expired. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Alright, I gotta break this betrothal. Oh, I did already. Alright, we gotta find this boy a spouse. <laughs> We gotta find this boy a spouse. Somebody who's gonna grant us. Ooh, the Dornish. Interesting. Vastly superior. Let's go. Come on. Bring the Dornish to me as well. Lord Edgar Ironwood. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, lovely. Let me see if this'll, uh... Hell yeah, dude. I think we might as well. Yeah, my claims, the High Lordship of Old Town. I'm gonna lose 90 fame, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Declare this war. Call my allies, Lord Edgar and Lord Gordon. Yeah, come to me, my friends. Raise all. The time has come. Excellent. Excellent. And yeah, we're going to have to make some moves real quick. Because they're coming straight at us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're coming at us. We're gonna chase them. We're gonna have them, uh, yeah. There's three months left. I need them to hurry their asses up and get over here. Yeah, come along, my friends. Together, our strength will overtake these lads. Come on, quickly, please. There's only 30 days left. Hurry your asses up, boys. I'm going to go in and distract him. Hopefully he makes it here in time. Chances are even, it says. Even though they have more soldiers. Ten days, nine days. Come on. Get there. Yes, we stopped him in time. Get here, you silly bastards, please. Yes. Come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? Yes. Come on. Hell yeah, dude. Take them down.
Oh, that is amazing. Finally. Very nice. The first victory in this war against Old Town is a success, lads. Can I lay siege to Old Town? Would that be something that we can do? I feel like that would be pretty interesting. Just lay siege to the high tower itself. That'd be insane. Nah, because they're, they're coming after Black Crown. So let's go. Give them no room, lads. No recourse. Yeah, come here, you bastards. There we go. We caught them, lads. Yes. The company of the vulture. Damn, they needed mercenaries. Very nice. All right. Now let's turn back. Take on this final army. Yeah, let's see if we can't take the lads. There we go. And then we need to start taking lands. Because we've already maxed out the war score as far as battles won. Are they dealing with a peasant uprising as well? That's insane. gonna take us six years where are y'all heading yeah don't you run away from me you bastards what is onset a sick feeling has rising in my stomach I try to make it back to my chambers but the door shrinks before my very eyes what is happening Suddenly I can smell something. Something I know I have smelled before, but where? Oh no. The onset. Oh my god, that's awful. What is happening? I'm possessed? Damn it, no! Ah, oh, that is awful. Oh damn, Tywin is attacking the Reach as well. That's not good. Look at Golden Grove. Holy shit. They're huge. Very nice. Nice. So we're, we're slowly taking lands. Let us go and defend my lands now, please. Thank you. Perfect. Now we shall continue on. Keep it going, lads. Don't you run away from me, you cowards. Yeah, we're just beating them down a little bit at a time, dude. That's insane. The High Tower Dynasty is known far and wide. But I'm not a High Tower. <laughs> That's so rude. They did that on purpose. Are we gonna lay siege to the Starry Sept? Ah, oh, no. Okay, good. Didn't want to have to do that anyway. There we go. We caught the army again. <laughs> Jesus. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Can we lay siege to the citadel? No. Okay, that's fine. I have gained a level of faith. Lovely. Oh, look, the Ironwoods have joined us. Get over there, lads. Yeah, caught their asses again. That's crazy. Come with me, my lords. 
Max four years. Not bad. And they don't have another army, I don't think. Oh, yeah, they do. They have 2,000 men. A lesson in Luca. Gold. While he understands the role of the lower classes, he also insists that if a peasant stops paying their taxes, they are of no more use and should be discarded. A very callous view on human life. Ooh. Bleed them dry. Imagine that. We can make him just. Which increases his stewardship and his learning. Or we can make him callous. Which increases his intrigue. Uh, Don't let your feelings hold you back, boy. Yeah, fuck it. He's going to be a ruthless little lad. Very nice. There's two years left. Come on, keep it going. Oh, and just like that, Jesus, that was I was sweating. I'm so sorry I haven't said anything, but I was sweating. But the time has come. Enforce my demands. Greetings, my implacable liege. Blessings upon you and your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Sign, Lord Lyman, the mute tower of Old Town. So be it. Disband my armies. Thank you very much. I am now a mighty lord of Old Town. Ah, oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, how lovely. Now give me this high tower. Damn it. All right, so we, he's still currently the lord of Old Town, and I can't revoke his title, unfortunately. Which sucks because we have a uh, we have a truce. Damn it, because of the war. But we're we're officially the lords of Old Town. Like that's that's pretty badass. Hell yeah, dude. That that happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. If I'm being honest, that's uh that's actually pretty cool. High Lordship of Old Hills. Do we still have an alliance with those people? What happened? Oh no, because his daughter died, I think. Or maybe he fought his way back to the top. I don't remember. It's pretty interesting. But it doesn't matter, because I am now a High Lord. Can I, uh, can I declare myself an independent kingdom? That would be cool. Build Pilgrim Roads. Fund an expedition to Old Valyria. Ooh, very cool. Damn it. So I, I still have five, uh, five years until this truce is over, which sucks. Ah, fucking truce. That's such bullshit, dude. That sucks. Yeah, the Lordship of Old Town claim title. Yeah. I still have to wait, unfortunately. That's so dumb. That sucks. Truce will last until 276. It's 272. Ooh, I am Chancellor of the Reach. I accept. Alrighty, lads. I am going to leave this episode off here. This uh, this happened a lot faster than I intended. So that's pretty crazy that the, uh, the Bastard Rebellion was a success. Unfortunately, they will not be in the same universe. I will most likely have to start over and... Uh, and, you know, create a new character in which House Bull Tower will not exist. Um, but hopefully that is not the case. And hopefully... Uh, I can find some kind of way to, to make it happen. And if not, then, you know, it's no big deal. Things happen. And uh, we'll just have a completely different episode for next week. Now, I did really enjoy this playthrough. If you guys would like us to continue playing and uh, being the, the High Lord of Old Town and uh, eventually revoke the title of the uh, the, how, the High Tower itself and, uh, and everything like that, then please let me know in the comment section below. But if you would like us to move on, we can go ahead and move on to uh, House Silvermane for next week's episode. But again, y'all just let me know in the comment section below. This was, in fact, a very, very successful uh, Bastard Rebellion. And my goodness, I didn't expect it to be, you know, this successful this early on. So I am very grateful for that. But alas... That is all for now, lads. So, until next time, always remember, honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your bastard rebel, will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.